Most Olympic air gun matches through the 1970s and into the 1980s were shot with spring piston guns. However, the guns used today at the highest levels of competition are powered by compressed air. Olympic gold medalist Jamie Gray will help demonstrate the mechanics of a pneumatic air rifle. Pneumatic air guns utilize compressed air as a source of energy to propel the projectile. Pre-charged pneumatic guns reservoirs are filled using either a high pressure hand pump or by decanting air from a cylinder. This design having no significant movement of heavy mechanical parts during the firing cycle produces less recoil. The firing sequence of a pre-charged pneumatic air rifle is really quite simple. When the trigger is pulled, a valve opens and a quick burst of compressed air is released to travel up the barrel, pushing the pellet in front of it. Each time the gun is fired, the pressure and volume of available air in the gun's air tank is slightly reduced. Eventually, the gun's air tank will not have enough pressure or volume left to propel a pellet at the velocity needed to maintain a predictable trajectory. At that point, the pellet's path degrades and alters the point of impact by as much of a quarter inch or more. Subsequent shots will not be predictable for shooting with pinpoint accuracy, so the gun should be recharged. Shots with a nice, flat, predictable trajectory are referred to as usable shots. Simply put, once the trajectory degrades due to lack of air pressure, they are no longer usable. The number of usable shots a shooter can take before reaching the recharging point varies due to a number of factors, such as the gun's power, original charge, and the distance one is shooting. For Firearm Science, I'm Jesse Duff. See you next time.